pop up book. By Emily Cardell. All right. Oh, very nice. I'm showing other kids how to make it. And this is this is gonna be how you make it. So, like you glue googly eyes. With a tiger. Oh no! Show us how it works. When you close it, it goes back on there. And when you open it, it pops up. What should we do? What should we do? When you um, close it, it opens. When you open it, it closes. Okay, show us how he talks. What should we do? You know, you have to write just little words like I did. And here, there's a tongue and a mouth inside. And there's like cheeks that we made because I wanted to. And there's a different colored bird because I wanted blue and my I wanted blue and my mommy wanted brown. So we picked both of them and we did it like a color. And I think it looks kind of cool like that. So, and you color this. You put tape right there for the band-aid. You, um, like, you cut, like... Okay, so take a piece of paper. And you fold it in quarters. Like this. Okay. And then you open it up. And you cut along the line here. A little ways, okay? So now you have a piece of paper with a slit in it, and you fold each corner back like this, okay? See, like that? Mm -hmm. and you open it up, and what you have is a diamond here. And what you do is you just train the paper to come out, okay? So you might have to just use your fingers a little bit here, just train the paper real quick. It makes mouth. And then color the inside of it and have a red tongue. And that's the inside, that's the beak of it. And you glue eyes, you draw eyebrows with the Sharpie. That's the um, second page. And this is the third page, yes. And a alligator, too. Help. What's the alligator doing? Show us. The alligator goes on this thing, and when you close it, it goes flat. When you open it, it pops up, and it tries to eat the fish. Very cool. My friend the monkey. Too. My friend the monkey, too. I like him. Tell us about that, Paige. And... When you close it, it goes flat. When you open it, the tree pops up with the monkey on it. And goodbye. Meow. Wait for me. This is what the cat says. When you close it, it goes flat. And when you open it, they pop up. These are like popping up because, you know, you have to cut on the bottom. You like... I can see you. <laughs> and like, we cut out the bush. We draw the bush first. Your kid can draw the bush. And then, the kid can like, um, do spots on it. And then the grown up can cut it out if the kids know how to. That's great. Mm -hmm. Take a piece of paper. And you fold it in half. Then, this will be the inside of your book. Then you take a pair of scissors, and you cut up to where your pop-out's going to be. And you open it. You push this out, and then you pull on it, and close it again. Like that. Now, when you open it, you have a 
part of your page that pops up. Okay. Then I cut the monkey out using a stencil, just like Mitchell's demonstrating here. Oh, let me see that. Wow, great job. Okay. Then you glue the giraffe on the pop-out part. And then what happens is when you close the book, it's flat. And when you open it, it pops out. Just like that. So, I think that this is an awesome book. Emery, if you made a pop-out book out of anything in the world, what would you want to pop out of your book? I would like a horse to pop out. Indian people. Bolivia people. With China food and American people, and the horse would go wherever I want because it would understand me. And a dog named Alex that would say, um, um, that would say, talk to me, and it could bark too. It could say, it could talk human talk, and it could bark. Oops. <laughs> it's a cheetah and a goat and all the scallions. Ooh, scary animals?